We are living in very uncertain times right now. Who is going to be our next president? Where is COVID going to go? Will we ever be able to travel again? Can I achieve natural looking freckles with a piece of broccoli? These are the pressing questions on everyone's mind. Well, thankfully, look no further. Five Minute Crafts is still at it, providing us with beauty hacks that we never asked for. Are they fake or real? I'm going to test a few of them out today to find out. What's up guys? It's your girl NT here and that stands for Natalia Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you would like to get that notification every single time I post. I upload a new video every Monday and occasionally on Fridays if I feel like it, but hardly ever, so don't count on it. Five Minute Crafts, the content that we all love to watch and hate. I don't know why they're still doing this. Some of them, I feel like they're being ridiculous on purpose. Like even during these times where the world is just like on edge, they're still coming out with content and stupid hacks that there's no way that they could possibly be convenient for anyone. Like in what situation right now are you gonna need to make yourself half an inch taller, but ridiculous as they are? They still provide me with quality content for you. This week's Instagram teacup shout out goes to Leandra Rimoli. Thank you so much, Leandra, for following me on my Instagram. I appreciate you, girl. Thank you. Today, I will be testing for your entertainment five beauty hacks to see if they're real or fake. Some of their hacks have actually changed my life, so it'll be interesting to see if they make me more beautiful or more stupid. Hack number one that we will be attempting today. I saw it come up on my feed and I just had to give it a try. Using a lipstick tube to color your hair a different color, a, like a little piece or something, like they just rub the lipstick on and brush it through and it looks like you have a strand of hair and it just automatically makes you cooler. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So I have here a tube of hot pink lipstick and a comb to comb it out of my hair after I choose a strand to make it look like I colored my hair pink. I don't have very much confidence in this hack. I think it's gonna feel like I have lipstick in my hair, which is not a good feeling. What I like the most about the video though is how at the end, when she has like a strip of greasy lipstick hair, she puts on a pair of sunglasses, like it just automatically made her feel a lot cooler. So I have my sunglasses too, just in case I feel cool, but the odds are slim. What if it doesn't wash out? I think either way, it's gonna look super cool. It's not gonna look cool. It's lipstick in your hair. I think I'm gonna go with this strand since it, it, it will be covered if I mess up. You're gonna be the cool girl in class. I know. When I was a kid, I always wanted to have a strip of like one color hair. I wanted to look like a My Little Pony. I thought that was the coolest thing. All of the cool girls in my school had a strand of colored hair, even though it was technically against the dress code. They didn't care. They broke the rules for the sake of coolness. And that's gonna be me today. I think I'm just gonna do the tip here. Okay. Oh, go. wow. Um, that looks good. It's definitely doing something. It's getting everywhere. You gotta brush it out. Okay, it's it's definitely showing up, but it's showing up everywhere. Okay, just take a look at my hand. I don't feel any cooler. Ew. In what universe? In what five minute craft messed up version of reality. Would this be a good idea? It looks like I went to the worst hairstylist in town. Let's just say that I do this all over my head. My body would be pink, my you, whole body. You remember those little those troll dolls? That looks cool. You like it? Yeah, I mean, it looks good on camera. I mean, yes, it works technically, but it's not functional at all. It feels greasy, it feels clumpy. Let's rate it. Zero, zero out of 10. I don't know, I'm never doing this again. And I'm not sure it's gonna be able to wash out of my hair. Ew, it's not coming out, Zach. Magic eraser. Magic erasers don't erase lipstick in your hair. Let's try it. Get it wet a little bit. Oh my God, it's getting everywhere. This is terrible. Okay, but why is that working though? Magic eraser. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you do give this a try for yourself, the only way to get rid of it is with a magic eraser in the sink. I think you forgot something. Am I the cool girl now? Is this hack real or fake? I would have to say this one is totally fake, guys. Probably would never do it again. Just just don't put lipstick in your hair. It's kind of gross. 10 out of 10, would not recommend. But moving on to hack number two. 
Have you ever been in a situation where you have such bad back pimples that you just take the paint roller you have lying around the house, dip it in foundation, and roll it on your back to conceal your back acne? I'm pretty sure no dermatologist would approve of this, but we are gonna give it a try. Now I'm pretty lucky because I've never had too much of a problem with back acne, but I do have back moles. We had to break out the swimsuit because I have a feeling this one is gonna be a little messy. So I guess if there's anything on your back that you wanna cover up, you just take some foundation and you know a paint roller that you just obviously have laying around the house and you roll it on your back. This one's gonna be really cool. Seriously, honey? Can I roll it? I wanna roll it. You wanna roll it? Yeah. Stop. I think we need more. More? Yeah. Maybe we should use actual paint. Actual paint. Here, hold on, let me see. Let's try it. Wait, no, I wanna do it, I wanna do it. Oh, you wanna do it? Okay, let's see. So you got one here. Did I erase it? Here, dip it back into the paint. Okay. Erase my flaws. Let's see. Is it working? Yeah. Kinda. Here, let's move your hair out of the way. It feels way. disgusting. I hate this. I hate this feeling so much. It, ugh. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Let me see. I mean, I feel like it's working. You just have to like. You're kind of like a professional at that. Yeah, I used to, I used to paint. You used to do painting for a living. And who would have thought that you would be here now? Painting You're... my back. Okay, I can't see how this could possibly be like a permanent solution. If you really have blemishes on your back, wouldn't this like make it worse? Wouldn't this make it break out even worse? Yeah, probably. Like maybe if you were able to roll it on your back and cover it up, like it's just gonna irritate it. It's just gonna irritate it. It's not really gonna work. I'm bringing sexy back, yeah? <laughs> oh, it's time for bed? Hold on, let me take my makeup off. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Nighttime routine. That looks a little difficult to get to. Really? Listen, I have no idea what I was expecting from this one. It's not good for your back skin to have foundation just caked on it. I'm gonna have to call this one fake, okay? Even in the five minute crafts video, you can tell that it was just a completely different cut. Like she doesn't even have foundation on her back in this shot. Five minute crafts, this beauty hack is fake. Now for beauty hack number three. I personally don't really need this one cause I'm already tall, I'm five foot 10. But if you're ever in a situation where you're just not tall enough to ride the roller coaster, you can actually remove your socks from your shoes, roll them up like a donut, and put them back in your shoes and step on them like your heels to make you half an inch to an inch taller. That way you can just lie and get on the roller coaster anyways, even though I'm pretty sure those height requirements are like a safety issue. <laughs> so uh, girl, please be careful. But we are gonna try this one out to see if I can make myself taller. I don't know, maybe I have a modeling gig where they need someone even taller than I already am. I can just step on my socks. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. So this mark right here on the wall represents how tall I currently am. Zach measured it for me. It's like you were younger and your mom used to mark the little dashes to see yes. how tall you've grown. <laughs> yes, my mom never did that for me because I was just growing every single day. So as the hack says, if you're in a pinch and you need to grow an inch, you can just remove your shoe like so. Hey, don't sell this on uh, the internet. Okay. Dun 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 dun! Whoa! Looks like a cherry tomato. Oh dang. As you can see, my toe is not feeling very well right now. Looks a little swollen. I broke my toe this week. I was running really quickly, and you know when you hit the corner of the sofa with your pinky toe? Ugh. Like sheer pain. And now it's broken! Now you got a cherry tomato for a pinky toe. I can't really move it. It's totally numb. But hey, at least I'm gonna be half an inch taller. In case you feel like you need to cheat the amusement park rules and possibly fly out of a roller coaster. I think like that's, if you're at an amusement park and you need to like be taller to go on the ride, don't they like tell you if you're too short, you'll fall out? Isn't that why they have height requirements? I think so. This might be a dangerous hack. You just see you on Magic Mountain and you just like fly out and you're just like, it's all because of the hack. Five minute crafts made me do it. Now that my socks are in place, let's see. Oh yeah. Am I any taller? Okay, put- Wait, wait. Go, go put Here, your... I'll hold the camera. Okay. okay. Mark it. Okay. Marked. It's marked? Marked. Okay. I did it! Nice. About a whole inch. That's almost a whole inch. It actually worked. Look. Yeah. That's where I was. A shorty. Who wants to be that short when you can be that tall? Oh no! 
Pray for my broken toe. Okay, listen, I'm pleasantly surprised with this one, but it kind of worked. Like this one might be the first hack that's real. Like, yeah, it made me a little bit taller, but when would you ever need to do this? I, I'm blanking there. So five minute crafts, I'm gonna have to say this beauty hack was real. Now for hack number four. Sorry for yelling, that was aggressive. If you are in a pinch and you need some fake tan. Now, you guys know I love my fake tan. I had a terrible, terrible, terrible experience in a tanning bed. I got this thing called Hell's Itch where my whole body felt like it was being bitten off by fire ants. And ever since then, I don't go in a tanning bed. I would rather just use a harmless fake tanner. But if you don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on expensive fake tan, say no more. You can make some at home by using cacao powder mixed with body lotion. And when you apply it to the skin, it turns your skin a shade or two darker, like you've had a nice summer glow. Now, this one might not be ridiculous. I'm actually really curious to see how this is gonna work. I'm excited to give it a try. So I have my cacao and my body lotion and I've already pre-mixed it together. It looks like chocolate. It smells really good. I wasn't anticipating it to be so dark. Didn't realize we were going for a scandal today. Let me get a smell. Oh, it smells great. It smells great. I'm hungry. Now that I have my tanner completely mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and see how it works. So what do you do? You just grab yeah, a whole I thing of it? you just like take a little scoop of it and you just put it on the skin. Looks like pudding. It feels like I'm rubbing pudding on my skin. Does it look like tanner? Does it look like self tanner? I think you need some more cacao in it. Oh. There it is. <laughs> Ew! Okay. That that works. Let's see the comparison. We're in natural light. Does it look any more tan than this arm? It does. Oh my gosh, honey, it, look at the streaks. Oh my gosh. Yes. Zach, that is, that right there. That's a look. Oh my gosh, look at it as it's drying. Do you see the stripes in it? You smell like cacao. Well, you smell like a Hershey's Kisses. I look like one of those Hershey Kisses, the swirly ones. You guys, please don't try this at home. Do not put cacao on your skin. It's meant to be like a cooking ingredient. It just doesn't feel right. If you really want a self tanner, just buy one. Even though the smell was really nice, it just made my skin look dirty. Like I needed to shower. So five minute crafts, the self tanner out of cacao. I'm gonna have to say this beauty hack is fake. Now finally for our fifth, and final beauty hack, I saved the best for last. Can you achieve natural looking freckles with a stalk of broccoli? I've been loving the natural freckle look. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been personally choosing to cut out a lot of my makeup routine in lieu of just freckles. I'm just giving my skin a break right now and it feels so nice. But if I can create really natural looking freckles with a stalk of broccoli, why wouldn't I wanna do that? I am really hoping that this one works. Okay, let's Give it a shot. This is the one we've been waiting for. <laughs> I have saved the best for last because I'm hopeful about this one. I'm always looking for new ways to like add freckles into my makeup look. And if it means that I have to be more healthy and buy more broccoli, I will do it. The real question here is, can you eat the broccoli? After you use it to apply makeup to your face, it immediately wastes the broccoli and makes it no longer edible. Dang. Imagine just like walking in and I'm just like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, just getting ready for the day. Just putting on my freckles. Nice. Sorry, honey, uh, I'm not ready. Give me five more minutes. <laughs> Can you grab me the, oh. There it goes. I got it. It's a little messy. It is very messy. And I already have a few freckles on my face, so we're gonna try and add to them. Okay, so now we have an actual powder bronzer. I think I'm ruining my makeup pan by shoving broccoli in it, but oh well. Here we go, here we go, okay. You ready? Let's see it. Did it do anything? Did I can't. Anything? I can't really notice anything. Let's try the other side. Did it do anything? I feel like it worked. I mean, they're they're supposed to be faint. They're supposed to be natural, right? Yeah. Right. Here, let me get a different piece of broccoli. Yeah, that one's a little. My beauty blender. I'm gonna try it right here. Okay, you ready? Okay, let's see it. Nice. Did it work? That was a good one. Does it look good? You have to do it on both sides though, for sure. But yeah, looks good. Uh, it kind of looks like dirt. 
<laughs> I'm gonna add them directly onto my nose now. Even though there's already freckles there, we're gonna make them more dramatic. Here there we go. There you go. Nice. Oh yeah, it's looking good. It looks That's like not dirt. Bad. You like it? Do you think it looks natural? It's not bad. I think we just found a really good hack here. This isn't bad. It doesn't look like in the video. In the video, then it makes it look like individual freckles, but it kind of worked. I think so. Not the most convenient thing in the world. It's doing something. It's it, definitely doing something. It works in some way. You want some broccoli? Go sports. Listen, y'all, this hack actually kind of worked. Like, I don't know how I feel about it, considering it's like you constantly have to keep fresh broccoli in your fridge at all times. Like, I'm not that healthy. What kind of person do you think I am? Like, I'm not always gonna have access to that, but it kind of worked. Like, it actually made cute little freckles on my face. And if I was ever in a pinch and I didn't have access to like regular makeup, I don't know, maybe I would use the broccoli, okay? This beauty hack actually wasn't fake. It was very real, but in no situation was it ever convenient. So there you guys have it. Were the beauty hacks real or fake? I mean, yes and no. Some of them were, like the sock one, where you can make yourself a little bit taller. That actually worked. And the broccoli, but the other ones are trash. They're garbage. I mean, most of five minute craft hacks are, but it's still really fun to try them out on my channel. And if you guys wanna see more hack videos, give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see more videos like this, I will leave a playlist right here where I try questionable things if you want to entertain yourself for hours. But I love you guys so much. If you guys try these hacks out for yourself, I want you to tag me on Instagram. I see all of my tagged posts and I will definitely leave a comment. But I thoroughly hope you enjoyed and most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. God bless you guys. Bye. I am gonna cook this broccoli tonight though. <laughs>